Welcome back. <laughs> Before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel. It doesn't take that much, just hit that subscribe button down below. I'm not even recording. This is not a paid video. I'm not paid by anyone. These are just the rods that I own and I use in my fishing day to day. So no company is paying me any money to do anything. So just got to get that out of the way. Today's video is going to be a little different than what I normally do. Normally, I go out fishing and I go out hunting, um, but today, it's raining cats and dogs, so I can't go out and film a video for you guys, so I'm going to film a video right here. Today I'm going to be doing my rod and reel arsenal. I've got, I mean, I've got a fair amount of rods, however each one of them serves a particular purpose. Well, I'm going to go from the rod that I use the most down to the least in rods I haven't really used at all. So, first off, starting off, one of my two bass fishing rods and reels. My one bait caster, it's a Abu Garcia yeah, Silver Max. This was a cheap combo for like 80 bucks I saw it in the store, so I was like, you know what? I don't have a bait caster. I need to learn to cast a bait caster, and you know what? I've caught quite a few fish on it this year. <sighs> what I don't like about it though is the reel has given me some grief. I don't, I don't know what's exactly, there's something wrong with it, it's just a cheap reel. But um, the raw, the reel, I don't know, it could just be me. It's like, it feels like the uh, handle will just spin backwards sometimes. So I don't know if that's me, or the raw, or the reel. But um, yeah. So yeah, that's my uh, bait casting rod and reel that I use for bass. Next rod I got is a Lose Laser SG1 Speed Stick. This rod I got because my other bass. My other spinning rod I use for bass broke beyond repair. Uh, rod I've got paired up with the Fluger Tryon. I don't know what size it is. Jeez, the Flugers, P Fluger, however the hell you say it. I have a couple of them, and they haven't really failed me that much. I've had one, but I blame that on myself. So, um, yeah, this rod I don't use it that much, uh, mainly because this year baits that worked for bass, I was easier to throw on my baitcaster, but, to, but this is good for throwing wacky rigs, Sankos, or I've got a little finesse jig, which I was trying to catch a uh, smallmouth in my series when I went to Northern California. This rod, I haven't used much, so I don't got much to say on it, but um, yeah, that's basically, that's this one. All right. The rod I use the most will be my ultralight. This rod, I have caught who knows how many fish on it. It's an Akuma SST ultralight. It was seven feet. Now it's like six six because um, I stepped on the rod. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and I've got this paired up with the Fluger uh, Presidential. President. President. Fishing for stock trout and ponds or. Uh, small creeks or fishing for bluegill, green sunfish, all that good stuff. You want, I like the longer rod because it adds more, just makes it more fun, it makes the fish feel big. And I have one thing to say about this rod. I have caught some big fish on it. I have caught a 10 pound carp. Um, I'll link that video right here. And uh, this rod paired up with four pound test line, held up and landed that carp even though it took like 45 minutes with four pound test and also I rod. I mean, it did really good, so that I'm happy about. Going to my next rod is my carp rod. I don't even know what this rod is. I got it from my uncle. It's an 8.6. What? It says made in USA, made in China. Huh? Can you guys see that? Made in USA, made in China. I don't, I don't get that. Yeah, I've caught quite a bit of carp on this thing. Um, it's an 8.6, so it's really long, and it's it's sturdy enough to handle big fish. The biggest catch I've caught, fish I've caught was a 15 pound carp, so, I mean, it handled that fine, so I'm sure this, really any carp I would ever catch, this'll be handling, this'll handle it just fine. I've got an Akuma Avenger ABF 40B, bite and run reel. That's what I really like about this is the bite and run reel because I used to have just a regular 
regular fishing reel that I would have to just loosen the drag up. But here I got the dual drag system and I can just set it up, flick up the little lever right there and I'm carp fishing and I'm not worried about my rod going into the water. Which it ha has happened to me before. Yeah, I've got 10 pound four carbon on this. Another rod I have, this is a Zebco. It's a Zebco Pro Staff. This was like my first legit rod. Um, the reel, I don't know where the reel is. This is a different reel, but um, uh, this was my first rod I ever had and I caught plenty of fish on it. Um, now I've just got it set up as like a backup because I know it can handle pretty big fish, right? It may not be the best for it, but I just got a circle hook in case I try and fish for catfish or change up fish for carp or whatever. So yeah, it's a Zebco Pro Staff. And I've got a Shimano 2000. Now this reel, also of Zebco, rod and reel, also a Zebco. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. This was my bigger trout setup. Um, I used this year, and, and I actually caught my personal best rainbow trout on this. Because um, it's got some beefiness to it, so it can handle big fish but I've got four pound test on it when I've used lures for trout. And this reel, can, can you hear that like the drag doesn't sound right? Yeah, I think the drag system in this broke. And I'm not gonna blame Zebco for any reason, but um, I believe I may have lost a few fish because of this. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. No, you came off. It was either like too loose or too tight. <sighs> Zeb, it's a Zebco Folds of Honor. America. I don't know. Not my favorite. I'm not going to blame Zebco for it because it was a cheap rod reel. I don't even know why I bought it. I should have just bought something better. Alrighty, now I'm getting into um, that's a, my one and only fly reel. Fly rod reel. I'm not um, good fly fisherman whatsoever so I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a uh, fly rod I just wanted something simple to get me started and so I got this it's a four piece nine foot six weight four piece Cabela's Bighorn and um, if you are starting into fly fishing this I, I would recommend it. it's not bad um, that's one of my goals is to catch a big fish either a trout a bass or a carp on the fly and I've yet to do that this is my ice fishing rod, even though I've never gone ice fishing. I was going to go once, that's why I bought this thing. And ended up where I was going, I couldn't fly a uh, ice fish. So, I basically bought this for nothing, but I did end up breaking it because I was fishing for carp. I'll link that video up here too. Um, I was fishing for carp with this and it just like broke the rod tip off, so it's a three eyelet instead of four. But um, it's a Shakespeare Fuel Ice, which is just a, like 15 bucks. So I was like, you know what? I'm going ice fishing once, so I'll just take it out. And I ended up not going ice fishing at all. So now I've got this as just a little souvenir. Um, maybe I could do some challenges with it. Let me know in the comments um, if you want to see that. I'll do it. If I get enough people to tell me that they want to see it, I'll do it. So just, yeah, let me know. And now this one is probably one of the coolest. It's my. 10 foot bamboo cane pole I bought. It's got just a little uh, two metal things that uh, connect the two so I can, it's 10 feet long. It's just a bamboo cane pole I bought for like five bucks. And uh, it's really fun. I caught uh, green sunfish and trout and catfish off of this. And it's just really fun. I just added, all it's got is this little like wiring, wire ring at the top and I just put a swivel to it. And then so I can switch it out really quick and easy, different types of line or whatever. But um, yeah, if you guys want to see more videos using my cane pole, just let me know. And um, cause I really enjoy doing videos with this thing. So just let me know and I'll definitely get to it. So the rest of my reels, rod and reels, wait no, barrel, bait casting reel. It's a, the rod is a special edition pro series outdoor sports. 6'6", medium heavy, made in USA with a Abu Garcia ultra cast 
Ambassador 5500C3. The thing with this reel is, I don't reel with my right hand, I reel with my left hand, so this is, the reel is basically useless to me, but maybe that's a good challenge. If you guys want to see me use this uh, big, first off, big old bait caster, which I have to reel on the opposite side, and that'll be really funny to see. Uh, just let me know, and I'll do it. But um, yeah, this one was my first bait caster ever that I kind of learned to cast on. I would just go out in the field and just throw a weight, like a one and a half ounce weight, and just chuck and wind that. And um, I don't know. It's a. Uh, I think the rod's really good, and I'll use that someday when I get another reel to go with it. But the reel, um, I just it's it's the wrong hand, so I I don't know. But um, yeah. And I've got this one that I've actually never used before. It's a two-piece. Has no labeling, whatever it is. It's like nine, eight and a half, nine foot. I want to use it as a, as a uh, secondary cart pole. It's it's green. All right, this rod I've used a couple times and I've not caught a fish on it. This is the most flimsy rod I have. Like. I'll have to show you, like, look, just extremely flexible. So I got another Fluger Supreme, and I put one pound test line. Yes, one pound. And I was trying to uh, catch like minnows with it, like micro micro fishing, like fishing for uh, legit like fathead minnows or something. Um, and I've yet to catch anything, but. Um, uh, yeah, maybe this would be really fun to uh, fish for small fish, like small trout, bluegill, something like that, because this thing would like, it would make like a two inch trout feel like a 10 pounder, like it's crazy. And I believe that's it. So that's my rod reel arsenal. Let me know in the comments below if you like this video because this is not really what I normally do and give me some more ideas on things you want me to do gear I want you want me to go over anything like that because I'll do it thank you guys so much for watching please consider subscribing if you want to see more videos of me fishing I'll leave links down in the description and at the end of this video or up in the corner um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and remember guys stay wild